Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within on the Valkyrie playthrough, which still means, I forgot to say it in the last episode, I think, that we only use female soldiers, but probably most of you that are watching already know this. Um, well, we've got another mission right at the back of the previous one, the abduction site, and uh, we have to go to Nigeria to uh, clear out the landing spot of a small scout vessel. So without further ado, we got two of our squaddies with us right now to hopefully level them up a bit. So without further ado, let's get into it. Dropship has arrived. So yeah, Listen Nigeria. Up. Operation deep in the Nigerian Stone Stallion. The next operation. Stone Stallion. That's a very nice name. Here we go, girls. So again, a landing, so we'll probably see a bit more aliens than we're uh, used to. We're straight right next to the UFO right now, so uh, that's also very handy. I'm gonna use Texas to scout ahead a bit. And then um, Jessica to scout the side here, just in case anything is hiding over there. And we have a melt canister over there, so we might as well go for that thing first. Uh, moving everybody up in that direction. So again, your phone missions I'm gonna probably cut out a bit. So you uh, keep right into the action. So we're at the melt. Nothing happened yet. I'm gonna try and keep the same tactic as I have said before. Just move three soldiers on this side of the UFO, just out in the open mostly, and keep uh, these three lovely ladies at this side, on my way. just in case something runs out of the UFO that I'm prepared for. So there's clearly stuff inside the UFO. And the other melt seems to be inside the UFO as well. Maybe I can see it over here somewhere. Oh no, it's on this side of the UFO. Okay. I'm a bit afraid of the fact that we didn't encounter anything yet. So I might want to scout over here. Yeah, there we go. Three mutons! That's... Problematic. And okay, great. So that's not that handy. I could of course start shooting, but with those aim percentages, I'm just a sitting duck, so... Um, Taxis can see one of the mutants. And of course, our amazing sniper can see too. So I'm gonna try and take out that back one with a headshot. We have a chance that does 10 damage. If it doesn't, no biggie. Four, that's... Um, well, not great, is it? And apparently Ruby has panicked from the other side of the map. Oh no. Oh! Okay, I... I was afraid she was going to fire at uh, one of our soldiers. And now uh, she's panicking. What is happening? Holy shit. Um, this is bad. This is really bad. Wow. <laughs> okay. Three soldiers panic. Luckily, it's on my turn, so um, it's not that I'm in that much trouble immediately. Uh, we did autopsy a mutant, so if I'm shooting, I have a chance at the 8 damage. Um, bum, bum, bum. So we have Romanov with the rocket, which early not doesn't reach. Holy shit. Just doesn't reach over there. And I can't really use it. So 
they got the overseer as well. Um, blah, shot blocked. I think I'm gonna use a rocket to blow away that piece of cover. We have plenty of rockets, so that's not really a problem. Um, now the bigger issue is whether I'm gonna use Wise as a defensive mechanism to cover our soldiers over here. So I'm gonna pull her out of sight of the other aliens and then use the dense smoke to cover our three soldiers over here. Two of which are panic. Can't really do anything about. And then the only thing I really hope for is they don't kill Jessica right here on the spot. I can probably take out one of those. I might even yeah, yeah, this is this is a great way of doing that. I'm gonna use collateral damage because that's guaranteed to hit that one mutant and kill it. Um there we go. Attacking hostile position. Trying to make the best out of my position right now. So yeah, four damage, not that bad. Did expect something like that. And that mutant is scrambling to get away. And that's also six damage. Which we probably can mitigate. And then the last shot is four damage. Okay. She survived. Um, for some reason, Ruby is still panicking. Um, Texas isn't, which is good. Although her movement seems to be impeded a bit. Uh, probably won't have anything for the rocket of Eileen. Ooh, this is a fucking disaster mission. Um, we have a few options now, so they all shot. But of course, we don't want to risk the mech right now, so I prefer to be we want to kill everybody right now. So we have taxes that can probably kill the overseer inside, I believe. Is there a way of her to flank that thing? Yes, camera, if you would, thank you. No, really, that thing is really bunkered in right there. Um, I'm gonna try and put Eileen behind full cover here. She should get sight of that one muton. And I don't really have another option here. Thank you, holy shit. Okay, that's one down. This is full on panic mode. So I have no shots because I'm out of ammo because of that uh, collateral damage action I took. So I might as well put the mech straight next to uh, Weiss here so she can heal her. I think that's the best option. Let's leave Eileen in the open a bit. Um, heal! Don't move. So that should heal six, and in the next turn I'll probably heal the other six. So reload her. They're still pretty bunkered in. Because of the... Uh, they can't see any enemies, so that should mean that the enemies can't do anything about that either. I'm gonna keep that cover over here, although mutons are mm, mutons tend to use grenades when they're uh, when soldiers are clustered up. So I'm gonna put Texas a bit closer and try a double overwatch shot. This is still very risky, and I hear two more floaters as well. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 
So nothing happened. Which can mean a few things. Uh, the most probable of which is that they are in Overwatch. Uh, if the Mutant is still at the same place, I can use Texas to rush inside here. Um, let's see what happens. Okay, it's a real party in here. Oh, fucks. Oh, fuck's sake. Wow. She uh, kind of went into the hornet's nest. Um, I might want to hide back outside. That rocket Natasha still has, um, Eileen still has. How far does that reach inside of the, uh, oh come on, shoot through that. So I can get that one over there. Can I do that together with this one? God damn it. This is fucking bad. I'm gonna use run and gun. Moving at the speed of death. So I can probably take out that out. floater on top. So now we have like reflexes. Wait, Taking what? Fire over here. I didn't see any of those, did I? Before? So that's one down. Kill confirmed. Apparently there are still five inside. So we have fuck. Five floaters? A muton and that crystal dude. Okay. Okay. Affirmative, Commander. Oh man. So she doesn't see anything from there either. Gonna keep Eileen over there. I could use that rocket to blow. I know I can blow the one inside. Blow it up. Hmm. I can, if I get her closer, I can blow up the core even. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. This is all full cover, so I'm gonna put her over there. Overwatch is on her. God damn it, we're really in a pickle here. There are so many enemies that I don't. I can't even do anything about that. Oh god. Oh yeah, there's the happy mutant. Forgot about that guy. No, I didn't, but. So please hit that. Yeah, okay, that's six damage. Oh, for fuck's sake, okay. The biggest asshole is down. That was amazing, that sniper shot. And we still have three Overwatch shots left. Okay, that must be that crystal. No, oh, no. Okay. They're flanking us. Oh, yeah, okay. So she's flanking taxes over there. Um, but Natasha is really close to that one, so he, she might as well On the move. take a peek. There we go, and she can't see two. There's one up top as well. Too bad about that rocket. Go Natasha! Yeah, thank you. Okay. Down. So four floaters, and the crystal dude. And uh, Ruby. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on, I really need those precision lasers. Um. How good will her aim percentages be if she goes over here? Yeah, okay. 66. Well, we're gonna have to try that anyway. 
No, hole in the sky. Damn it. Yeah, indeed, damn it. I'm with know. you there. That's an extremely accurate sentiment. But hey, we're not down yet. Um. Heading to that location. Let's use the mech to get a better shot. Also 63, so not amazing. And that missed as well. I'm going to need ammo soon. Make yeah. No damage on target. And I'm kind of out of options. Cause well. I hope he's gonna shoot at the Mac. Or not shoot at all, that's also an option. So even she can fire at it now. Um, that wasn't an overwatch. So if I get her down here, there might be any of some overwatches over there. So there's the overseer dude. Um, I'm gonna take this shot. It's within boundaries, I think. 100%. She's out? Yeah, okay. So now I can pull back. Uh, and I reload in the next turn. I kind of want to reload right now. He's not on Overwatch, is he, Dan? Oh, I do want to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try it. If I get closer, is that an Overwatch shot? No. I was inside the whole the whole time, so now I really have to kill that Overseer, dude. I uh, don't get the damage boost from. Um... Oh fuck, I can't even fire with the mech. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Moving. Well then. There we go. 59. Oh, for fuck's sake. So she's out of bullets as well. I'm gonna have to reload her anyway. The other floater is in the back of the UFO. Can I somehow get a shot on that thing? No! No, no, and no again. I'm gonna start closing in with, uh, with Wise as well. Then I'm gonna shoot at the crystal dude in the face. Oh my god, thank you, thank you. I can't handle that one floater. I can't handle that one floater. Um, but if I'm not mistaken, I think there are still two floaters left. So I'm gonna keep that overwatch over here as well. So there goes that floater that was at the other side. Ah, it's missed, it missed, it missed. Please don't kill Eileen. That was a weird move. There's the other one. Eileen still has a rocket, so if she survives, those two are dead. Three. There are three. I didn't think about the third one. Okay, but still, not a big problem, I think. So, Eileen, you still have a rocket. Use it. No, one. No, one up. Yeah. Oh man, this is fucking fidgety. Can't I hit both of them? Come on. What other options do we have? Wise. Heading to that location. Can't see one. So please kill that one. Thank you. Booyah. Heading out. 
So I can't even do anything with her, so I'm gonna reload her. And then we have Natasha, maybe from the inside. No, the thing is on top, so... Well, that's a bit of, bit of an issue. Bit of an issue. No, okay. On the move. No, I'm reloading. She has a shot on the top one. Thank you, Ruby. Okay. And then we have either a 42 shot, which we're not gonna do, or just playing a rocket to the face. Goodbye, fucking asshole. In the face. Chalk up another one. Holy shit. Ten enemies. Never tell me a small scout doesn't harbor a lot of enemies. Ten fucking enemies. Okay. Well, we worked it out. It all went fine in the end. Well, I was really afraid someone was gonna die. The mech almost died, so 16 days out. Uh, so we're gonna have to uh, make do without the mech for 16 days but we got three promotions so uh, Ruby despite her panicking like a little bitch was also promoted to colonel so the amazing sniper perks in the zone or double tap um, combine that with the heat ammo I think I'm gonna be able to use her more for double tap than for in the zone because we need to kill uh, they changed it for, uh, it used to be that the sniper shots wouldn't cost an action if you just killed a target not and they changed it to a flanked or uncovered target so in the zone has become a lot less useful than it was before so I'm gonna go for double tap uh, and then we have Eileen which got uh, tactical sense or close combat specialist on a heavy. That's amazing. Thank you. And then Texas to uh, was this captain executioner plus ten aim against targets with less than fifty percent health. Not really uh, interesting, but of course resilience is amazing because that makes Texas permanently immune to critical hits. Combine that with her six, uh, twelve HP. And she can withstand a few shots, I think. And that's that for now. So, six floaters, three mutants, 25 Illyrium. Since the, uh, the craft landed, 60 al alloys, 18 weapon fragments, 20 meld, two UFO flight computers and a power source. All intact. Which is weird, because I fired two rockets. One to the side of the, uh, the UFO. But hey, I'm not complaining. So... Jessica out for 16 days. Which is... A bummer. But nothing we can't handle since we have a lot of other soldiers. Um, I'm gonna miss the... The fastness of her though. Um, might want to start looking into rapid recovery as well. But... Uh, we might even get to the end of the month right now. Oh no, we... We have to do that covert operation first. So, mission control, scanning, precision lasers, thank you. So, scattered laser and laser sniper rifle. So that's the laser shotgun and then the laser sniper rifle. So, I think it's starting to be time to either go for the nav computer or the power source. I think I'm going for the power source because that's allows us to upgrade the mech once Jessica is out of the infirmary. So yeah. UFO power source. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. And when the new month, month rolls around, we're gonna start building the... Um, what's the name? Uh, the alien containment facility, probably put it here. And that will allow us to start capturing. And since we only need four days to research the arc drawer, we're gonna do that in the next month. So, we're gonna get our satellites really soon. So scan. There we go. Got 18 credits back from the workshop rebate. 
So I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna check out the laser rifles first. So we're gonna need a uh, laser sniper rifle. Definitely, so... That's not even a, a question. I think I'm gonna sell another flight computer to allow me to buy a scatter laser as well. Uh, since we have two um, assaults, I'm gonna try and give Allison Texas the uh, scatter laser and keep Blake with the laser rifle since her aim is so uh, so good. Although I might even give the shotgun to Blake for that same reason. We'll see that in a minute. So boost, I need the cyber discs as I thought. So uh, yeah, for now, I'm still a bit stuck on all those fronts. So it's probably gonna be time for that covert operation. So covert operative is ready for extraction. The operative will be lost if this mission is ignored, so we're not gonna ignore that. Um, the Operation Frozen Dirge. The Covert oper Operative has finished setting up the encoder and transmitter, but Exalt is inbound. Protect the Intel assets by eliminating all Exalt forces in the AO. So we're gonna launch Excellent. this mission. We look forward to seeing your progress. So the most important thing here is that we use two assaults. Um, mainly because they can uh, use two shots. Eileen can do that now as well with the close combat perk. Um, so that's all very handy. So I'm gonna give Ruby her amazing laser sniper rifle. Look at that fancy thing. Which uh, boosts its attack from 3 to 5 to a whopping 5 to 7. So 2 damage up. And the critical damage goes to 9 and 11. Which was 6 and 8. Um, so that's all hunky dory. So besides that, as I said, I'm gonna give Blake that scatter laser. There isn't any carapace armor available, so I'm gonna... Oh wait, that's right. Uh, I only made five suits of carapace armor, so I'm gonna go back for a second. Uh, I can make that with the funds I have. So, a sixth one. Thank you. So back to mission control, covert data recovery, send extraction squad, launch mission, that you will handle this matter with and then we'll outfit Blake again. So there we go. There is another one of those. Yeah, I'm gonna use that on uh, on Blake, the respirator implant. There we go. So she's back at 12 HP. Um, yeah. And that's about it. So I'm gonna take a little break. And next time we're gonna do our first Exalt mission. So we're gonna meet the lovely fellows at Exalt. I don't even think they have women at Exalt. So uh, it's gonna be women against men, the battle of the sexes. So, but before we go to, uh, to do that, I'm gonna take a little break. So if you like the video, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. If you haven't already, don't also forget to subscribe to my channel. It uh, really helps out with making these videos. And uh, as for that, thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye.